My name is Christopher Metzger and I'm an instructor at Health One EMS. Today I'm going to talk to you about performing the oxygen administration skill. As with any skill, I will take a moment to apply my BSI, which in this case are my gloves. I will now take a moment to check my equipment. I check to make certain I have an oxygen tank, regulator, O-ring, take wrench, non-rebreather mask, and a nasal cannula. Next, I will ensure there is no debris in the orifice of the oxygen tank by cracking open the valve quickly. Before I do this, I need to make sure the valve is not facing me or any bystanders. Now I will assemble the regulator and the oxygen bottle. I will assemble the regulator onto the tank, ensuring the presence of an O-ring and proper alignment of the pins. I will open the tank valve by turning the key one full turn counterclockwise. Now I will state the pressure in the tank as determined from reading on the pressure gauge. Finally, I will check to make sure there are no leaks around the regulator. Okay, now I've assembled the oxygen tank and regulator, made sure there was enough pressure in the tank and there were no leaks. Now I need to attach a non-rebreather mask to the tank and prepare it for patient use. After checking the packaging and mask for tears, punctures, or missing pieces, I pull out the tubing and attach it to the port valve on the regulator. I will now adjust the flow to between 10 and 15 liters per minute. Then I place my finger over the valve inside the mask to allow the reservoir to fill. I now place the mask over the patient's face and adjust the straps around their head. If the patient does not tolerate the non-rebreather mask, I may be able to switch to a nasal cannula. I will remove the non-rebreather mask from the patient and regulator, then connect the cannula to the oxygen port valve on the regulator. I will adjust the flow of oxygen to between 1 and 6 liters per minute. Now I can place the prongs into the patient's nose and swap the tubing around their ears and cinch the tubing under their chin. Make sure you monitor the patient throughout the oxygen administration. You may have to adjust how much oxygen the patient receives during your care. Thank you for watching, good luck, and stay safe.